Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. We are going to be starting a new game. We are going to be taking the next country on our list and the next country on our list is France. France has a difficulty level of four stars. France or the French Republic was an absolute monarchy at the time of the French Revolution in 1789. In 1792, with the motto of a liberty, equality, and fraternity, France became one of the earliest modern republics. It took another 80 years for France to become a democracy. Even then, democratic rights were sometimes derailed, including during World War II, and it wasn't until the Fifth Republic was established in 1958 that democratic rule stabilized. France has an elected president and a prime minister appointed by the president. France is a leading member of the European Union and a member of NATO. Population of France is 65,273,511. The size is 643,801 square kilometers. The religion is Catholicism at 41%, none at 40%, and Islam at 5%. The exports are machinery, aircraft, vehicles, pharmaceuticals, plastics, cosmetics, and beverages. World leader in luxury goods, tourism, welfare state funding, exporting electricity. It is a member of the Eurozone, EU single market, NATO, and G4. Its national obsessions are gastronomy, equality, wine, and competitive cycling. I do not know very much about the French political system. I don't know how many parties run. We are going to play whatever the game generates. Let's hit that button. The Futurist Party. Let's pick purple for the Futurist Party. We are going to be playing as the Futurist Party. There's going to be compulsory voting. We're not going to have any mandatory voting in France. We'll have a three-party system. Let's hit play. We are starting our first term as the President of France. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as President. The lives of all 65,272,000 citizens are now in your hands, as you would imagine. There are number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on long-term improvements of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in five years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. It looks like we have a high crime rate, our GDP isn't that great, unemployment's not that great, health is okay, education's okay, and poverty's not that much of a concern. At the recent election, your party won the majority of 10%. This will give you some political power to implement implement your policies. Let's begin our term in office. We are going to begin our first term in office as President of France. We have 14 political capital to play with. We have a lot of problems going on. We have crime. We have an uncompetitive economy. Our workers' lack of relative productivity and competitiveness is causing our exports to fall and flooding our country with cheap imports made overseas with lower wages, harder working, and more technologically savvy employees. This is having a negative effect on our economy, as our local companies cannot compete globally. Globally. We have prison overcrowding, we have antisocial behavior, we have vigilant mobs, teacher strike, hospital overcrowding, they are due to a doctor's strike. We have a lot of strikes going on, it looks like. We have tax evasion and we have corporate exodus. Erasmus program. Erasmus is the EU's program to support education, training, youth and sport in Europe. Each year, over 900,000 people study, train or volunteer abroad with support from the Erasmus program, which works with over 100,000 different organizations and 25,000 projects through the EU. Let's take a look at our cabinet ministers. Our cabinet ministers look all right right now, so I'm not going to be doing anything. Crime is a problem in France. Organized crime, large organized gangs of serious criminals are now targeting our country. We do not have the resources to deal with them, and they are causing serious problems, including higher levels of street crime and violent crime, as well as supplying drugs and guns. We should probably do something with law and order. Looking for something to deal with organized crime. Body cameras is 52% popular with the voters. Body cameras, a compulsory wearing of cameras by the law enforcement workers is a way to ensure that those workers stick to the law themselves and act in a respectful and honorable way when engaging with members of the public. Without cameras, corruption and bullying complaints against police 
are not so easily dealt with. Let's implement this policy. Raise it to about there. And we will apply the changes. We have two political capital remaining. We're going to do community policing as well. Working with the community rather than attempting to control it. Community policing encourages the police to better understand the needs of local community, especially in areas with ethnic minorities. Critics see it as an expensive waste of money, which could be spent on more direct methods to cut crime. We're going to work with our community. Perhaps the people on the street will have a better awareness of who is in charge of the gangs in the area. We're going to raise it all the way to maximum. And we're going to apply the changes. We have two political capital remaining. We're dealing with a high rate of crime, so I am thinking about the witness protection program. What good is catching a criminal if the witnesses of the crime disappears forever? Protecting these witnesses of the utmost importance for working justice system. And the better it is, the more criminals will get convicted and the more witnesses come forward if they see a crime. Let's implement this. We don't have a lot of points to implement this. But we are going to do it too high. We have zero political capital remaining. Let's hit that button and go into our second term as president of France. Here we are in the second term of our first year as president of France. Let's see what happens. Everything seems to have stayed about the same. Reasonable force of law. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Reasonable force law. A recent court case where a rural man shot and killed a teenager burglar in his own home has thrown a spotlight on the law regarding reasonable force when defending property. Given that homeowner was prosecuted for manslaughter, tighten the definition of reasonable force. Nobody has the right to take the life of another even if they are defending their property. Human life has to come before property in all cases. We may not have much sympathy for a burglar but allowing people to violently take the law into their own hands is certainly not the solution. Expand definition of reasonable force. It is clearly ridiculous that a frightened man far from from the police attacked by a violent criminal in his own home would ever be arrested let alone charged even if the criminal dies in the struggle we need to clarify that every citizen has the right to use force to defend their property regardless of what happens unquestioned right to defend property we should make it clear that the police will turn a blind eye to whatever mean homeowners deploys to defend themselves if a burglar gets machine gunned in another person's kitchen well that's just karma i think expanding the definition of of reasonable force is the middle ground for this. You should have the right to defend your property. You shouldn't have the police turn a blind eye, however. Select expand definition of a reasonable force. The liberals are not happy at negative 8%. The conservatives are happy at plus 7%. And the patriots are happy at 9%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Armed robbery on our hands if we do not act soon. The budget report. Our credit rating is worryingly just a triple B. We need to fix this either through growing our GDP, cutting expenditure, or increasing taxation. Polls report the government is not popular amongst its citizens. Only 3% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Economic forecast. Great news is a global economic boom, which is having a noticeable effect on our prosperity. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally to be considered adequate. We have problems with our economy minister and our welfare minister. And we have vigilante mobs. Vigilante mobs, our citizens have lost all faith in the ability of the police to beat crime. They have started to take matters into their own hands, resulting in often violent mobs handing out street justice on the spot. This is also leading to more disorder and more crime. We could probably do something like a CCTVs. CCTV cameras. CCTV cameras can be a great help in catching criminals and cameras also deter crime. The installation costs are extremely high and there are concerns about civil rights from people who don't like to feel that their government is constantly watching them. While this is only 44% popular with the voters, we are having armed robberies and we are having vigilante mobs in the street. We're going to use five political capital and increase CCTV cameras to widespread. We're going to apply the changes. We have eight political capital remaining. We have an uncompetitive economy, so I am thinking adult education subsidies. Adult education subsidies are a way to encourage people to retrain and continue their education after they've joined the workforce. This includes evening classes and distance learning resources. These schemes help to raise overall education level of the workforce. We have to retrain our citizens to be able to move forward with the time. We are the future 
disastrous parties. Let us put four political capital into this and we will raise it to high. Let's apply the changes. We have four political capital remaining. We also have antisocial behavior. Antisocial behavior, vandalism, public nuisance, petty street crime. These are all results of antisocial loutish behavior that has become a commonplace on our streets. Often linked to the consumption of alcohol and not helped by insufficient levels of police on the street. Antisocial behavior causes stress for many of our citizens. Let's do an alcohol awareness campaign. Alcohol awareness campaign. Alcohol can be dangerous even in moderation. To raise awareness of that, this campaign will show all the trouble that alcohol can get you into from ruined friendships over accidents and addiction to sickness and death. Certainly not a happy topic, but it is always better to have your mood dampened a little now and stay sober than to suffer big time later. Let's implement this. This will help with some of our antisocial behavior. We are going to do this to about there. We're going to apply the changes. We still have two political capital remaining. Let's work on some drug enforcement agency. A specialist team of police experts trained to deal with very specific demands of enforcing our nation's restriction on narcotics. Trained sniffer dogs, undercover agents, and border police all work together to stop the flow of drugs into our country. This is 50% popular with our voters. We're going to use all two political capital on this. Perhaps this will address our crime. I'm going to apply the changes. We have zero political capital remaining. Let's end our second term and move on into our third term. We are now entering our third term in our first year as president of France. Let's see how we did. Condemn far left dictator. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Condemn far left dictator. Although it may seem irrelevant to our domestic policies, the extreme actions taken by far left dictator in another country have become such a news story that the media are expecting you to make a comment on whether you condemn their actions. The dictator has been rounding up opponents and there are reports of public executions and beatings in the street. Condemn the dictator. It would be shocking for us not to speak out when we are well aware of the horrors taking place in this country. We normally stay out of foreign international politics, but we cannot stand by while innocent people are arrested and even killed. To stay silent shows a lack of principles. Refuse to comment. Horrible as these events may appear on the surface, it is not our duty or our place to criticize international politics of other countries. We do not want other country leaders to start meddling in our own affairs. For all we know, the people being arrested are all dangerous terrorists. Uh, we're going to condemn the dictator. The socialists are unhappy at a negative 11%. The liberals are happy at plus 11% and the capitalists are happy at plus 6%. We have an egalitarian society. Egalitarian society, understanding our different backgrounds better and better these days due to cultural exchanges and education, people are now treating each other equally, blurring and even erasing the lines between different races, genders and beliefs. Living in such a society makes people very happy and less likely to harm others. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Rail strike on our hands if we do not act soon. We have a teacher strike we have a doctor strike and now we have a rail strike so we will be addressing things budget report our credit rating is worryingly just a triple b we need to fix this either through growing our gdp cutting expenditure or increasing, increasing taxation polls report your approval rate is disappointing if we believe the polls you would just get eight percent of the vote economic forecast good news the global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our gdp cabinet report our loyalty of our ministers can best be described as loyal their effectiveness is generally to be considered adequate welfare minister and the economic minister they're dropping like crazy but i'm not going to be dealing with that i'm going to be dealing with labor laws because if i spend anything in kicking those people i won't be able to get anything done with this labor law we are addressing this because we have a teacher strike, a doctor strike, and now a rail strike. Labor laws are basically the restriction on a worker's right to strike. Capitalists argue that such restrictions are vital to prevent key workers, such as power station workers, policemen, and train drivers from holding the country at ransom. Trade unionists consider the right to strike to be fundamental and not open to negotiation. It's pro-union right now. We are dropping this all the way down to balanced. We're going to use 12 political capital for this. It will actually save us some money. And it should get the teacher and Dr. Strike under control. Let's apply the changes. We have one political capital remaining. Drug treatment scheme. Punishing people for taking illegal drugs only goes so far. What people really need is treatment. A long-term plan to get people off their dependence on narcotics. These schemes aim to fight the drug issue by reducing demand instead of limiting supply. This is 50% popular with the vote. It will help health. We are going to raise it to one as we only have one political capital remaining. Let's apply the changes. We have 
zero political capital remaining. We are ending our third term of our first year as president of France. Let's hit that button and enter our fourth term. We are now entering our fourth term of our first year as president of France. Let's see how we did. Crime is down. Oh, we have a tourist that was murdered. A tourist has been murdered during a mugging. This story has been widely reported in international press, shining a spotlight on our nation's social problems. Our lucrative tourist industry is the latest economic casualty of our high crime rate. Tourism is down at negative 30%. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to address crime if this is going to be affecting our tourism. Budget report. Our credit ratings worryingly just B. We need to fix this either through growing our GDP, cutting expenditure, or increasing taxation. Polls report. Our government is not so popular amongst its citizens only 12% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally to be considered adequate. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and having a positive effect on our GDP. Let's look at our cabinet. Let us fire this lovely lady, Anne-Marie Burnett. Uh, we're firing her. And let's pick someone for economy. We are hiring Jean-Francois Benoit. And we are going to be getting rid of this well Welfare Minister Jean-Paul Ray, firing him. Poor and the Patriots. Madeleine Marchand. Pardon me if I'm butchering French names. Yeah, the only reason I am not looking at Jean-Claude here is because of the state employees. But the poor and the patriots, we will be hiring Madeleine. Our cabinet looks a little bit better. We have 12 political capital remaining. We technology colleges do have an uncompetitive economy. And we do need to address our workforce not being trained for the future. Technology colleges. Technology colleges are specialist schools with a focus on computer literacy, biotechnology, and similar subjects. State-run colleges receive special funding from central government in order to encourage a greater level of technological literacy among our future workforce. Let's implement this. Let us raise this too high and we will apply the changes. We have two political capitals remaining. Police force. Every government needs to employ a police force to ensure order is kept and laws are obeyed. But it's a matter of debate exactly how much should be spent on the police. Some favor a large force with police on every street corner. Others prefer a more low-key, tolerant approach. We are going to use the rest of our political capital. We are going going to increase our police force as we had a tourist that got killed and that has affected our tourism. We have to deal with the crime in our country and this will lower antisocial behavior as well. So we're using two political capital for this and we are going to apply the changes. We have zero political capital remaining and we are at the end of our first year as president of France. So I am going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house. If you like what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.